Several people have asked me how this aquaponics system will work. So basically we start out with about a 150 gallon stock tank and this will have fish in it uh, once I get this system running. And with this stock tank you'll want to have it heated. So this is just a simple uh, large fish tank warmer. And then this is a pump that recirculates the fishy water up to the plants. And this is just a pump like you would use to, um, you know, pump out a flooded basement or a hot tub or something. And then attached to the pump, normally there would be a garden hose there. Uh, but we have this little manifold here and I can expand the system for three more times. Uh, but here I've attached just quarter inch drip tubing and I've got it run up here to the gutter system. Now these gutters are mounted at an angle so this far end here is actually higher up and then the water runs downhill. Now the great thing about this quarter inch drip tubing is it's expandable uh, meaning it, you can expand your system. So right now I don't have the T's installed but you can see that the water is running out here and then on this one is also running out and so forth and then the water just returns back down into the fish tank. Now once I get ready to plant wherever I want to plant I could cut the tubing and insert one of these T's and another short length of tubing and then I can squirt the water directly on the plant. The plants won't grow in dirt. They will grow in either perlite, vermiculite. Some people use a um, product made out of ground up coconut. Uh, some people use little clay balls. Um, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it's just got to be something that will drain. This is what the perlite looks like. And this perlite is actually a little bit too fine. And so I need to go to the store and get some coarser perlite. But the plants will actually grow in these little pots. And the pots will sit in, in these gutters. And of course the pots are going to be filled with perlite or vermiculite. And then the water will squirt directly onto the plant and then the roots will absorb the nutrients from the fish water and then once I get the plants in this system the tops of the gutters I'm going to cover them with tin foil as the roots on the plants don't like light and then as far as lighting we're down here in this old cellar and uh, I've got fluorescent lightings down here, but these are actually grow lights left over from when I used to start my garden seedlings. And I've got several, um, several of these light fixtures uh, that have the grow light fluorescent tubes in them. Um, I just need to uh, get up and attach them to the ceiling. I'll do that this afternoon. So anyhow, this is my aquaponic system. and. Uh, it's going to be an experiment. I'm sure I won't have immediate success. It's a learning project, but uh, for a hobby, this actually didn't cost a whole lot. A lot of this stuff I had laying around, and um, so I was able to recycle a lot of materials. Once I get some plants growing, I'll post some more video.